Imagine rugby on roller skates, but without the ball. So roller derby is played on an oval track. You have teams of up to 15 skaters per side. We play in two minute jams where we send on five skaters, four blockers, one jammer. The jammer wears a star on their helmet and they are the point scorer. Their job is to fight their way through the opposition blockers. And for each blocker they pass from the opposition team, they score a point. My derby name is Iron Tyrant and I play blocker and pivot. Um, sometimes jammer, but mostly blocker and pivot for the Golden City Rollers. It's one of the most humbling things I've ever done in my life. I started and I was very bad, very bad. Now I've been to two World Cups. I'm the captain of our team currently and I absolutely love it. It's also kind of cool. This is the one sport where the normal term roller derby actually refers to the female or female identifying part of the sport, whereas you have to call it men's roller derby to refer to the male the male counterpart, which is is unique to most sports. It's, and it's kind of exciting. It's, it's a space where women have said, we are here to play a physical empowering sport. This is our space and we'll let you in if you're nice. <laughs> if you come in and you're like, wow, this, this physical bumping is a little bit too much for me. We have, there is space for you in our, in our league. We have official referees, so they are on skates. Um, they don't take any contact, but they're integral to what we do here. We also have non-skating officials. So if you aren't able to skate, don't want to skate, there is a space here in our league that, again, is very integral to what we do. We need those volunteers. Um, so there's a whole community just outside of just the, the, the skaters themselves. I think that's the big thing is getting the idea of like the violence out of people's heads. We speak very specifically about aggression, physical contact. There is no malice here. There's no violence here. We're here to do a job. We're here to have fun. We're here to train. We're here to be athletic. I quite like my teeth though. I don't think uh, I'd be happy to play if we actually hit each other that hard. My derby name is Sam I Slam. Um, I think it is like a very, not aggressive sport, but a very physical sport. And I think there's a big difference between those two things. It's been terrifying since day one, but <laughs> I mean, um, it's also been really interesting. Like, uh, and also meeting the people here has been amazing. Like the whole community is like 10 out of 10, would recommend. It's, a, it's an exciting challenge. Obviously, like we're working really hard to get to the point where um, we can compete and actually be competitive. I think South Africans should take women's sports a little bit more seriously. Um, this one especially, I think it shows a lot of skill and strength and that's a very interesting combination in any sport. So they should watch out for it. I love the sport. Uh, it's really just been incredible to watch the league evolve and develop and all of the people that have come through. My derby name is Bugoff and I am predominantly a jammer in roller derby. The sport in general has really grown in the country. We are a legitimate league. We are WFTD accredited, which means we have um, done all of the things that qualify us to play in international tournaments. Um, so we want to grow the sport, we want to get leagues all over the country so we can hold real um, inter-South African championships. Our league is going overseas to play um, under like a, D a WFTDA umbrella tournament. So they're running uh, back on track um, a series of competitions or tournaments. Um, so it's getting everyone, because obviously the world stopped for COVID, so it's just getting the teams back into that um, tournament gameplay uh, before they start the rankings and stuff like that. So we need support, we are self-funded. Um, currently we have a back a buddy um, campaign running. So if even if you have 50 Rand to put in there or corporates like a thousand Rand, however much you have, any penny really helps. And that money is going in to help us pay for accommodation, get around Mexico, you know, feed us. So yeah, we are looking for sponsors and any support we can on the back of buddy.